Hello everyone, Karibu Sana back to my channel. Today we are going to do a kick. I'm going to show you skills on how to, to do kick carving. I'm going to do a car kick and it is specifically a Mercedes E350. Let's learn together. Let's have fun. The first thing, uh, sorry, I had already started cutting out the cake. Well, I just picked some slabs of cakes just to cake like that. So what I did is uh, the first step I usually do is print out uh, a template of the car that I want. So this is the top side and this is the front, uh, the side uh, side view. Yes. Okay. So I've just cut out my cake using my template so I have the size uh, that is the the, the the wind and the length so the cakes are a bit short so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add to get the exact size right and then whatever will be left here I'm not going to waste it or do it some, uh, do away with it because we sell cakes with cages and I have to make sure that this cake is up to the cages that were requested. So I'll show you how to go about it later. So uh, the second step after printing out uh, these templates, the second step is making a board, a base. Because I want this car to look as realistic as possible. I want it to be elevated a bit. The tires will be touching the road. The car will be elevated a bit. So I will need a base to hold the cake. And this is just a carton. I've just mounted a white paper on top. It's just a carton. And then I, using this template, I cut out the exact size because that is the size of the car. And then using this other template, I check out where the tires will be and I cut out that too. And that is what I was doing. So I have cut out my, my base. So the next step is to place my cakes on top of this base. They're a bit short, but not to worry about that because uh, I'm, going, I'm going to add uh, these cakes. This. So I've cut out my base. It's ready. So the next step is placing the cakes on top of the board. And now I'm going to start carving my cake, depending on the size. But first, I will get a rough idea of the size, and then I'm going to cream the cake because you can see they're in pieces. So I'm going to place on top of each other and start carving, All right? And then we'll continue from there. So you can see I've placed my templates. Here are my cakes, everything in order. And then if I place my template, I'm going to cut out the size of that cake. Now, there's a small portion here that is outside the cake. So I'm going to put a small piece of cake here so that it fills up to this point. And, but I'm also going to cream. So that means these layers will go up a little bit. Let's see how that goes. I start by creaming on the board so that when I place the cake, it will stick to the board. The next step is uh, adding cream to the layers, as you can see. And then after I've put that cream there, then I'm going to add this other layer on top like this. Sorry guys, I'm doing this video and creaming at the same time. I don't have a tripod, but will work on that so I'm gonna keep posing and doing things and then continue to play thank you so my cakes are set up now using my template I'm going to cut out the whole design and that is the first step now I've just carved out a very rough uh, shape of a car but now I'll be using the whole template to work on with the, uh, to get the exact shape that I want. Cake is very um, so the cake is very roughly carved as you can see. But at least I've got all the uh, everything that I need for this part. So now the next thing I'm going to crumble it uh, 
and um, set it aside to start covering before that. My fondant is ready. I've decided to go with uh, navy blue, a very deep navy blue. Uh, I actually was not given the color for this, but I've decided to go. This will look good for a Mercedes. Here we go, started covering our cake. As you can see, so what I'm going to do is now just uh, make the whole thing smooth and then cut off. Says fondant from it. So you can see it nicer. Yeah. Covered my cake. I've cut off the excess, and uh, now I'm starting to put uh, some details. A lot of details come at this point with the lines. Uh, for example, I, I just realized it started on the on the on the bonnet. Sorry, started on the bonnet. Just putting those two lines there to give it, you know, that shape. And then the light will come here. There's the, the, the logo here on top and everything. Um, the windows, the doors, everything that uh, all the details that needs to come in for example this is the, uh, the line to show the bumper and where the lights are so yeah something like that you can see good so um, I'll just work on it make sure that the shape is is okay everything is okay and just putting all the details that I need so here are some of the details that I'm talking about just uh, drawn out the windscreen and also the one at the back. So now I'm going to do the side one of my windows. And I've put most of the details the windows, the doors, uh, both sides. So what I'm, uh, what's remaining now is the front part on the back side. And then after that, now I'll start making the tiles for the cake. I'm gonna paint the windows with some bit of silver, so at least they'll be a bit different, so that they can look a bit realistic. The car is, uh, I'll put all the details. So I'll just come with some, some, some uh, silver color, and then I'm gonna paint on the lights and everything in front right so now i'm going to work on the back side and now i'm done with all the details what i'm gonna do is now i'm gonna paint some silver on the windscreens and every other part that needs any glasses and lights any place that needs color silver and there we go it looks now it looks different not all blue like the whole body. Sorry, I forgot for the backlight. I'm doing red. I don't know, it doesn't show so well, but it's yeah, it's red. Now for the very lower part of the kick, I'm going to paint black. And this part at least uh, is going to have a different color, but and then inside. The tires are done. They look a bit grey because I've not yet steamed them. So they still have the control. But once I'm done, they're dry, then I will steam them. Steam them and then I'll fix them on the kick. I'll just make sure that it is the correct size. As you can see, 
it's a bit high because the kick will be slightly elevated so uh, this kick will be a little bit high doesn't that look good okay so I have covered and then did some cobblestone prints using this it looks very nice I didn't have to put to do it here uh, because uh, the Mercedes will be on top so it doesn't mean so I'll just uh, smoothen the edges make it look good and then I can start finishing up uh, remember I told you that uh, our cake need to be elevated a little bit so that it can look a bit realistic so this is what I'm gonna use for that I'm going to cut just a small piece and then I'm going to place it on the center of the cake so that it's going to be a little bit on the air and then I'll fix my tires so here's our small piece it's just thin enough so that it goes at the center of the cake okay so you can see it will not go all the way outside and uh, it doesn't go all the way back and forth Made some edible glue and this is where our car will come and there it is so now uh, what I'm going to do is to fix the tires let me do that so the car is a bit on the air right now so you can see the tire will come in very nicely so let me just fix that and there we go so these are my series oh this one is bending a little bit so i'll just fix that all right it goes on the series now only one thing remaining actually two one is to write the message and the other one is to steam the cake but i'll not do that right now i'll do it once uh it has dried up so that the paint that i've painted does not start to peel uh, not to peel but to tear all right Thank you very much for watching the video. If you liked it, kindly give it a thumbs up. Comment below and share with your friends. And if you haven't, please subscribe. See you on the next video. Bye bye.